guys, it's your girl Rivka, and I'm back with another video. And since you're back, yeah, I'm supposing that you love seeing me and listening to me talk. So, since you're back, today's video will be a transformation video. And the first thing that you need in a transformation video is to wash the body. Because if you have a zitty body, you don't got the transformation on lockdown, right? And we want things on lockdown. Let me try and be more like zen and normal. So guys, in today's transformation video, the first step in today's video will be washing. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, so I just got out of the bath now. Um, I used these two bad boys on my face, the Johnson's range. I really love this. I use it on my face right now and I need to moisturize my face. The lighting isn't good because I, my curtains are so close. Um, yeah, transformation on the way. I'm gonna put some face cream on my face. Let me actually show you what I use. Avon, I don't know, face cream. I love Avon face cream. Before I put on body lotion, I'm gonna zap off some leg hair. I bought this like portable, like laser removal system thing, and I definitely want to review it for you guys and do a video on it for you guys. It's just I'm trying to still figure it out um, and see if it's working. I don't want to just open it up and you know show you it. I want to actually review it for you guys. So let me actually show you a bit of what I do. See, this is the company that I'm using. This is the Hay Silky Skin Advanced Hair Removal Laser. That is the box that it came in. It also comes with a cord and the body of the actual like um, laser remover. And then this is the color chart, and it shows you what skin tones it generally works on. If you're on the darker side, I would suggest not getting this. I will do a review on this if it works. For now, this is only day four or week four that I've been using it. And so this is the goodies that I use to laser remove my leg hair. Hey guys, now that I've lasered my legs, um, well my lower leg. I'm so these are all the little things that I've been using. I'm using some aluminium foil. This is a nail clipper and colors over here. I only have these two at the moment. I've only ever worn those two. I have some false nails that I've never used and some nail glue. Um, I really want to use them one day. And then I also have my jellish lamp, the cable that it comes with, some buffing tools. I actually have more. I just can't find the other two that I have. A pair of scissors to cut my foil. And some cotton hool to remove this off my nails. And then, this is how my nails, the, the hand that I've removed. They're really long. I actually am going to snip them maybe. So these are the goodies that I'm using for my transformation. So that's the one hand. And then that is the other hand. Looking wretched, like really badly. Okay guys, so now my hair is washed and conditioned. It looks a little wonky and crazy at the moment. I'm going to let my hair air dry. Now, because my hair naturally air dries for like 8-9 hours, I can't do that old step. But what I'm about to do is I am going to use a fan and kind of let the fan just dry my hair. And when my hair is like semi-dry, when it's like kind of drying, I'm going to be using my denman brush and i'm gonna comb through my curl i'm literally gonna break my curl and have my hair standing crazy now the thing about curly girls is if you brush through our hair when it's dry or drying it's the process of it all when it's drying and you brush through it it basically is going to turn out to be an afro hopefully i'm, I'm gonna go in and straighten my hair now my blow drying skills absolutely suck and that's why i'm not blow drying my hair so yeah if I was brilliant at it, if I was good at it at least, I probably would have blow dried my hair. But I've never been good at it. And my mom usually does it, but she's not here. So I'm going to do it my way, which is the fan method. So while my hair is being fanned, I'm just going to brush through my hair. Let go. Okay, guys. So this is my hair straight. Um, it's kind of weird because I haven't seen myself with straight hair in a while. So I keep kind of like giving my hair a little volume and a bit of push. But yeah, this is it straight. I cut the ends a bit. Um, it was really, really long. I cut the ends, as you can see. It was really, really long and looking really, really scary. So I snipped the ends. That's the reason I had to straighten my so that I can actually snip my
glowed up and stuff i'm gonna show you the final outfit tonight is date night so this was like a little glow up get ready for me transformation for me for that purpose as well because it's pointless kind of dressing up and not doing something with it so we're going out for date night i actually said i wasn't trying to keep my hair straight but as soon as my hair was straight i was like Ehh. and then i just put a bit of a curl in it i did brush it out so that it's not really curly but more straight with a bend <laughs> So let me show you the final outfit. enjoying this transformation if you did like please give me a big pink thumbs up and if you did enjoy and want to see more of my beautiful little face please hit the subscribe button now i don't usually look like this and it's kind of like taking me aback because it's taking me back to the good old days before i wore my hair natural i do miss it and i think that it's really cute but i also want my curls back so i don't know what to do but thank you for watching this transformation glow up video and i see you in the next one bye